so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Again today with part two of my triple S Mujuk album first listen. If you've missed part one and you're watching this on the day it dropped, which is literally the last video I posted, or if you're watching this at some point in the future, it will be in my triple S playlist on my channel. So, part two of Triple S Evolutions Mujuk album is where are the four remaining B sides? Um, uh, this is, I can't read the Hangul right there right now. It's, 37.5, Motto Princess, we and Enhanced Flower. Guys, I'm really sorry. Like when I have my schedule up, the letters are really, really small and I need glasses and it's all very, very blurry to me. So yeah, super excited. Let's just go. Disclaimer, I will not be reading lyrics whilst listening to these songs. This is my first time hearing the song, so I want to concentrate on the music production and their vocals, which is my priority. The lyrics distract me from that, so I'll read them later in my own time. There are plenty of reactors out there who will do lyric readings. I'm just trying to vibe. If you want to vibe with me, then cool. Okay, let's go. So we're continuing the album first listen with 37.5 degree Celsius. I guess that's what that meant in Hangul. Let's go. Oh, this is synth heaven right now.
about that I feel like the vocals and the melodies on that were a little bit more soulful I feel like we went a little bit more on the R&B side in terms of like the melodies and the way that we're singing a little bit uh, but the beat itself was giving me 90s throw but all this very um, detailed little synthy sounds like the lead synth the little wee -oh, wee -oh sort of synth it did remind me of cherry talk a little bit my favorite triple s title track and it will remain i don't think anything is topping that one but it reminded me of that production in a sense do you know what i mean it was quite choppy sharp little moments here and there it had that sort of 90s influence beat a little bit reminded me of early uh your dad tingle g friend um love that let's go on to the next one okay guys let's go next up we have motto princess <laughs> The Fender Road sound. Oh, wait, when in that ear, then is this here? Back in that ear. That's my favourite one on this album. Bro, I swear to God, I'm so done with them. I can't take it anymore. Like, I'm so done with them. Like, I, went, I I keep thinking about my top 10 this year. Like, last year I did a video, like, my top 10 songs. 
they were on it of course and then this year I'm like because I only pick one song from an artist like I don't put more than one artist so I only I'm only allowed to pick one triple S song this year on my top 10 how am I supposed to do such a thing I might just have to do a separate top 10 triple S list at this point at this stage that was so good. That's my favorite one of the album. Nothing is beating that one. That do 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 do. That specific sound. Do do do. Everything about that. The beat. The tempo. Then the ad libs again. Change. This was the last two, two tracks. I can't take it anymore. I actually can't take it anymore. I'm ready to be done with this album. Next is we. Record scratching. Uh -huh. I, the break. I can't. I can't. We sound. very very interesting first of all I like the record scratching not the type of song you'd usually hear like record scratching on it's more of a hip-hop associated sort of sound so it was interesting to hear it on that and then the chorus was spicy like I know I like the way the beats sort of picked up and then it double picked up like it picked up again also that wee, 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 wee. very very catchy it did remind me of Luna a bit uh, it reminded me of um uh and something else as well. Can't put my finger on it. Um, but I loved it. Loved the instrumentation again. The melodies, synths, everything about it. The Fender Rhodes, that doo -doo, when that came in. Oh, man, I might add that into my top three as well. I don't know. Let's go into the next one. Okay, guys, let's go. It is indeed the final track, Enhanced Flower, which is really short. I just noticed. Let's go. Damn. You should embrace yourself now. Be a little bit of care. 
experimental but it was quite ballady the piano and the melodies it almost felt a little bit like a lullaby there was something quite cinematic about it as well especially with that <clears throat> at the end there i feel like it was quite cinematic like it sounded like a scene a scene from something does that make sense i don't know if i'm describing it properly but i think you know what i mean um it was nice i liked it it was a great way to end and close the album didn't need to be that short but it's fine I'll, I'll take it as like an outro song so my top three um, listen my favorite one is hands down motto princess that's my number one my second favorite is invincible because i just really really like that now, it's really, really hard for me to pick my third favourite, but I might actually go for me. Kind of wanted to go for the 37.5 degrees, but I think I'm going to go for we for now. But heavy metal wings? Shit. Now, I'm just going to go with Mother Princess, number one. Number two, Invincible. Number three is we. Let me know your top three in the comments, if not your top three, your top four, your top five. Or let me know just your favourite track. Or you can rank all the tracks. Tran <laughs> rank all the tracks if you want. Let me know your faves. Um, they've done it again. Like, like, I don't know what else to say, man. My princess, that is the one. I'm having that on repeat. Got nothing else left to say. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I love you. Go and follow me on Instagram. Go follow me on Twitter. And yeah, goodbye.